Since its invention, the field of aviation has revolutionized world travel. It has allowed people from faraway lands to visit places they otherwise could only dream about. Throughout the years, though, there have been a number of incidents that not only cost human life, but have gone unsolved, leaving millions wondering what went wrong all the way up to the present day. From a flight around the world that crashed into the middle of the ocean, to a military aircraft carrying a nuclear bomb disappearing without a trace, here are five of the greatest unsolved aviation mysteries. Back in 1957, an around-the-world luxury flight was offered by the company Pan Am. It was a top-of-the-line experience at the time, and it garnered a lot of interest from the wealthy. The aircraft would stop in multiple cities over several days, and allowed passengers to book extended sleepovers in any city along the way. On November 8, 1957, one of these flights, Pan American Flight 7, left San Francisco on a journey to Honolulu, Hawaii. The pilot was supposed to make routine position reports along the way, with his final one coming in at 5.04 p.m., approximately five and a half hours after takeoff. His next report was expected at 6 p.m., but when that message never came, people began to get worried. Finally, at 8.11 p.m., the Coast Guard dispatched the first search planes. After an extensive and expensive search, a Navy search plane located the wreckage in the water about 900 miles away from Honolulu. An investigation ensued, which pretty quickly ruled out the possibility of an in-flight explosion. Investigators then looked into whether or not any of the cargo could have caused the plane to go down but that too was soon ruled out. One of the more extreme theories is that a passenger purchased a life insurance policy before the flight and intentionally caused it to go down. In the end, investigators determined that they could not give a concrete explanation for the crash. Back on March 10, 1956, a Boeing B-47E Stratojet took off from the MacDill Air Force Base in Florida, bound for Ben Gurir Airport in Morocco. At first, nothing seemed out of the ordinary, but at some point in its flight, it lost contact with the ground and was never heard from again. Its disappearance caused a great commotion in the United States, as it resulted not only in the loss of human lives, but of two capsules containing nuclear weapons materials. Materials that, in the wrong hands, could have unleashed misery upon the world, and which may still be hidden among us today. The B-47E had an excellent crew at its command, along with the ability to quickly cross the Atlantic Ocean. The aircraft was scheduled to make two aerial refueling stops along the way, and made its first one without incident. As the aircraft was preparing to make its second aerial refueling, just 90 miles southwest of Oran, the B-47E stopped transmitting, ceasing all communications. What is strange about this event is that not only was there no distress call, but also no sign of the wreckage has ever been discovered. Although the cores did not have the potential to cause a nuclear explosion since they were separated in different carrying containers, their disappearance was not only costly, but extremely dangerous, as it could have led to a major catastrophe. While there are some eyewitness reports of seeing the B-47E explode in the air near the coast on the Algerian-Moroccan border, and testimonies from people that an explosion occurred off the southeastern coast of Spain, the mystery remains unsolved. Passenger flights by far make up the largest part of the aviation industry, with cargo flights coming in second place if you don't count overlap. Many companies, from Amazon to FedEx, fly all over the world to transport everything from retail merchandise to valuable goods. One of these cargo flights was the center of an international mystery in 1979. This was Varig Flight 967. 
The aircraft assigned to this flight was a Boeing 707-323C that was delivered to American Airlines in August of 1966 and then sold to Varig in 1974. It had flown hundreds of times with no record of incidents. On January 30, 1979, this airplane was scheduled to fly from Narita International Airport in Tokyo, Japan, bound for Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, with a stopover in Los Angeles. On board were six crew members and a cargo that included 53 paintings by Manabu Mabe that were valued at just over $1.24 million. About 30 minutes after takeoff, the aircraft lost radio contact with the tower, somewhere around 120 miles east of Tokyo. To this day, nothing has ever been found from the wreckage, including the valuable paintings. Pre-flight investigations of the aircraft did not reveal anything out of the ordinary, so investigators were at a loss. However, there was one fact that caught people's attention. The captain of this flight was Gilberto Araujo da Silva. In 1973, Captain da Silva was in charge of flight RG-820, a Boeing 707. While flying 134 people, the plane crashed, killing 123 of his passengers. Although he had logged more than 23,000 hours of flight time, it seemed quite strange that this captain would be involved in a second deadly flight. When it comes to aircraft disappearing, it's easy to think of them occurring many years ago, when technology didn't allow for things like effective search and rescue. Though times have changed and our understanding of science has increased by leaps and bounds, flights still vanish, even to this day. One of them in recent years made news all over the world. It was Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. March 8, 2014 was a very unassuming day for the passengers and crew of the Boeing 777. They were scheduled to depart from the Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia and arrive a couple of hours later at the Beijing Capital International Airport. It was a trip the captain and the plane had made many times before. It took off normally and without incident. 38 minutes later, the pilots communicated with air traffic control, and that was the last radio signal it ever sent out. A few minutes later, it was lost from ATC radar. It was, however, still being tracked by military radar, and that continued for another hour. It was deviating westwards from its planned flight path, until it eventually went out of radar range, never to be seen again. The search for the missing airplane became the most expensive in aviation history. Search and rescue operations were conducted in the South China Sea and Andaman Sea. Weeks of work turned up nothing. Then, an analysis of the aircraft's automated communications with a satellite indicated that it could have crashed somewhere in the Indian Ocean. After searching for three additional years across 46,000 square miles, no wreckage was ever found. All 227 passengers and 12 crew are presumed dead. There is one disappearance that stands out above many others in the world of aviation. It is known as the disappearance of Flight 19. Most of the time, when we hear a title like this, we automatically assume that Flight 19 is the name given to a specific voyage, much like the ones we have listed so far. However, Flight 19 is actually the name given to an entire squadron of military torpedo bombers that took off from a naval air station in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on December 5, 1945 on a routine training flight. When they took off, their plan was to head east from the Florida coast towards a place called Hens and Chicken Shoals. Then, they would turn north and proceed over Grand Bahama Island before returning back to base. But, for anyone who knows about the geography of this area, you'll know that their flight path took them right through the middle of the Bermuda Triangle, an area in which numerous planes and ships are reported to have disappeared over the decades. This incident worked to further the mystery of this area. 
After turning north over Grand Bahama Island, one of the pilots became convinced that his compass was malfunctioning and that the airplanes had been flying in the wrong directions. It was only made worse when a weather system moved in, bringing rain, intense wind gusts, and heavy cloud cover. The squadron had become hopelessly disoriented. One of the last radio transmissions heard from them was, I don't know where we are. They were never seen or heard from again. Today, the mystery of the Flight 19 disappearance remains. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.